So Hockney, which is a documentary by Randall Wright about David Hockney, as the title would suggest. Yes. And it the, the, the documentary benefits from, you know, a sort of wealth of, of home movie footage and also from a, a clear um, affinity with the subject from the, of the filmmaker who's described uh, Hockney as being a friend. And what you get is a portrait of a man who we, you know, we see that, that the whole of his sort of working life from those kind of early drawings and paintings right through his later experiments with photography and doing images on iPads and uh, the stuff which is sort of much later on in which he's driving a car through a landscape with these nine moving picture cameras mounted on the side of the car because he becomes convinced at one point that what collage does is broaden the horizon. It, make, it makes you see beyond the frame of the picture. And one of the things that he's interested all the way through is broadening the horizon, getting people to, to, to look. He talks constantly about ways of seeing, ways of looking, and to get people to look at things anew. Also, the documentary talks about his personal life and uh, you know his childhood and uh, looking back on all the things he has lived through both the triumphs and the tragedies. You think about them every day and then you stop it because there's too many actually. Mm. And it would rather drive you mad if you think about it. Uh, and slowly you have to realise it's kind of part of, it's become part of your life, this uh, something you never ever expected. It did change New York. I think it's that that changed it more than anything else because I, when I think of all those people, if they were still there in New York, New York would be different today. There would be Bohemia still. And that's the world I arrived in, and that's the world I lived in, actually. I love this idea of, of recapturing Bohemia, of talking about the Bohemian existence, and because it's something which is romanticised Great. I mean, by necessity, it's romanticised greatly. But Hockney still talks somebody with the, you know, he has the, the vivacity and the vibrancy of a, you know, of a teenager, of a child. He talks about ex the joy of being a child and, you know, waiting for your pocket money and then they give it to you and then you go and get sweets and then you've eaten them all in 15 minutes and then it's all gone. But he talks about it in a way which is really affectionate. Now, it's there has been a lot of, uh, you know, media uh, coverage of, of David Hockney over the years, and a lot of the story uh, is stuff that you will have heard elsewhere in, in in various other formats. But I thought the documentary did a very good job of this. So much to look at, so much that is, you know, wonderful paintings. I'm, I'm sure if you walk around anybody's house, you'd find somewhere some David Hockney. I mean, there's a three in our, I mean, not, not obviously original David Hockney, oh, oh, but you know, prints and things. Yes, no, no, not everybody's got an original think, David Hockney. Yeah. What? That's probably right. I remember being in the in the um, in a uh, in an English class once, and it was a, a very very famous Hockney picture. And I was fascinated by it. I remember saying to my English teacher, "What is what is that painting?" He said, "Oh, well, that is a picture by David Hockney." And that uh, so anyway, so a very affectionate. I mean, not nothing uh, life changing in terms of any great revelations that you won't have come before, but a very good, solid, honest portrait of the artist and his ongoing uh, spirit of vibrancy.